everybody, Interceptor here again to talk about a little bit of Latin, uh, just so people have an idea of what they're getting into before jumping in deep. Today we're going to move on from adjectives to participles. Participles are super important. I cannot overestimate how much you need to know participles if you're going to do Latin. Participles are verbal adjectives. So what that means is they have a verbal root, you know, they're formed from verbs, but they serve an adjective function. They describe a noun. There are a total of four, four verbal adjectives, four participles, present active, when uh, blanking. Uh, so let's use, um, what's a good verb? Believe. Credo, believe, I believe. Credens, believing. And then of course, like an adjective, it changes its ending depending on the gender number and case of the noun that it's modifying. Perfect passive participle, having been believed. Creditum, having been believed. Uh, the future active participle, Creditoras, about to believe, and the future passive participle, credendum, must be believed. Uh, so you'll notice that the future passive participle sounds a little bit different. You would think it'd be about to be believed, but it is really, I'm, I'm just going to say, it's only used, even though language um, to express a sense of obligation, must be believed. This is most famous for Carthago de Lenda Est. Carthage must be destroyed using that future passive participle. Because a future passive participle plus a form of to be, credenda est, uh, makes a makes what is called a passive periphrastic, which means must be blank. Passive periphrastic. So those, those are the four types of adjectives that Latin uses. They are each used all the time, although the perfect passive participle is the most common, particularly in a type of construction called an ablative absolute. So a, another use of the ablative case that requires a participle. Participles are great, get used to them, make friends with them.